Welcome back to the channel. I've got a special treat for you today. We are in the Great Falls, Montana area, and guess what? It's another Borgo air seeder. We are installing a Blockage Monitor Plus, and they needed one for this new air seeder, new to them, and they wanted to make sure that they had good blockage system and they knew that they were seeding and putting fertilizer down all the time. Enjoy this adventure, it's gonna be a good one. Let's get after it. How's it going over here? Good. Good. That looks good. Man, you guys do good work. You should come work for Eddie. <laughs> Let's go see what Kevin's up to. So this is Paul. And this is Kevin. Paul, you're the grandpa to Kevin, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You guys get to work together. Yeah. I'm sure you don't think that every day, but <laughs> Kevin's the one who contacted Reddy and he kind of was the guy that made it happen from uh, their end and uh, it's been good to work with these guys these are good guys and uh, we expect that this system will do a really good job for them and you guys will have a lot of years of good good success with it hopefully bet your hands will be nice and sore Ooh. after today from all the workout well i better go do something or i'll get fired Whoa, this is slippery. The goal of the day is not to fall and die. All right, guys, so we have the gateway mounted here. And then what attaches to the gateway is this antenna. And so this antenna, we want facing towards the tractor. It's going to be out of the way of the folding. So I'm going to get that buttoned up and connect that, the wires, and make sure they don't get ripped off. But uh, if this was a tow-between cart, we would have the antenna on the cart because that would be closest to the tractor and have the best signal to the tractor where the iPad is. So that antenna sends a signal of the system to the iPad in the cab, and that's how the iPad is picking up and reading what's going on back here on the air seater. You guys got a tape measure? Yeah, you do. Looks like I need a one inch spacer. One by five by six or seven. Got a nice size block here. Which will go under here. So this should work out good. Kevin, yeah, work sure. worked perfect. Great. We'll have to patent it so then they have to buy it from you. <laughs> <laughs> So you're trying to do what now? Trying to get the harness for the drill mm -hmm. through here. So I gotta go through that little hole. Yep. Why don't they just put a big hole right there? Big old hole right there. So yeah. Yeah. Or make this twice as big. Well, that's what I was thinking, maybe. Because you got to send. How much of this has got to go through? Oh, no, just this the hole. That whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, ours looks like that, so it should be pretty simple to get this one in. Just run it through the door. <laughs> Drill a hole in the, in the glass. Yeah, there you go. Drill a hole in the glass. That'll, that probably won't go so good. Think you can get that one in? <laughs> pretty easy, right? <laughs> What I'm doing here is I'm connecting all the wiring to the ECUs. I'm putting the S2 plug. See, see if it says S2 right there. I'm putting in the front ECU here. S3, I'm putting in the back one. And then S1 is plugging into another harness that uh, is kind of like a jumper harness. It connects 
this bank of ECUs to the next bank of ECUs and then the next one, next one until it gets to the gateway. And uh, once we get to the gateway, it'll plug into that and tie the whole system together if I do it right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna start on this end. I got some in the middle, but I'm gonna start on this end and start working my way that way. Hey, it looks like we're done with half of it. <laughs> we're on a roll. We only need a one inch hole. <laughs> Four and a half. <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll definitely void the warranty on the frame. <laughs> they oh, yeah. giving them idea what they're supposed to yeah. do from now on. Hey, Case Tractor Engineers, I know some of you. You should have had a bigger hole in there. But they'll, they'll get her figured. They'll fix it for you. <laughs> we got these shoes mounted. Got all the sensors on, got the wiring done, just finishing up connecting the antenna, and uh, we are ready to go. The wires are up in the tractor. Let's go plug it in, let's go turn it on. So we've got the app up. We've now reconfigured the gateway. So now it's showing an IAS blockage network. We're gonna go ahead and go into the app. There it is, Wi-Fi network, IAS blockage, updating firmware, do not power off. So now we wait for it to update its firmware, which who knows how long that's gonna take. Yeah, all right, to be continued. All right, they're blinking green, that's good. Gateway's blinking green, so that's all good. We just gotta wait for that firmware update on the gateway. All right, it finally is done updating the firmware, and now we're gonna set up the system. Let her rip. So you want to do manifold view. And then now we go through and just pick which ones are which tower. Okay, so number one is going to be serial number 4698. Is this section on product A or B? We'll say A is your fertilizer. Enter number of sensors. This has five? Yes. <coughs> yes. Yeah, this has five. And then we'll just go all the way down through the list until we get to the next section. Number 10. Yeah, All right, we just tested the system, made sure that the ECUs are actually picking up um, when we're tapping on them, on the sensors, and it's working. All right, guys, update on the little side project here. They have done a mighty fine job of fixing what this tractor really, we think, should have had a bigger access hole for all the wiring. They are trying to wad all of this neatly through the tractor. And uh, that's our solution. We'll just throw some paint on there and a protector and it'll be good as new. Looks factory, doesn't it? At least the wire's here. Yeah, and they're clean. Wow. All right, guys, we've had a great time out here at Hilltop Colony. And uh, thanks so much for having me. It's been a real treat to have the experience to get on this Borgo. It's a 3335 and a great big cart. They are going to be really happy with this system. Otherwise, they'll be calling me if they're not. But uh, we got the blockage system on. It is working. And uh, this just a few short months away from spring seeding. And so it's really important to make sure that this system is working. They got what they need to know that this is always seeding, putting the fertilizer and the seed in. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. And remember, if you need a system like this one, maybe you've got another color, maybe you've got this one, give us a call, 701-205-1485 or ready-ag.com. Get in touch with us, we've got them in stock and we will have them ready for you for spring so you are ready to make the most important pass your best pass of the year. All right guys, God bless, we're out of here.